She's got to take the offering now and go and meet the celebrants. Magayot means that they're going to carry them out on someone's shoulders, probably with white socks on in the old North Bali Dutch tradition. This is the big moment coming up. The climax, we need some music, cameras, action. Here comes the, uh, the first celebrant. Today's groom, later on in the day, but this morning he's having his teeth filed first. Ideally one should have one's teeth filed before getting married. If one's teeth have not been filed when one dies, then it happens on the deathbed, on the cremation buyer. Beer. This is Magayot. He's a big boy. Oh, that's beautiful. Celebrants, a bit like the Ari Ari, the uh, afterbirth, or one's younger brother, accompanies one through life somehow. I can't remember having one. Prayers first, more holy water, preparation for the ritual act. It's just a small little scraping of the teeth. It's always a very tender moment, this with the beloved uncles holding the hand, the mother in tears, because this is the, the big goodbye to the, the baby years, coming of age. So there is mum to the left of the sanging. The hands must be clasped. Then go the little plugs made of sugarcane. Incredibly good. No, no, by you, Rabbi. My father had the best teeth in South Bali. No, no, by you. No, by you. No, by you. His auntie telling no, him to no, relax. No, no, no. He's not really used to this. Yeah. So looking on, one of his mates. Mom. Whole family over here. Dayo Madri is the eldest sister of Usrai. She's always very much in attendance at these Rit the Passage. This is a nice little touch. One of the loyal ladies in waiting holding the crown above her head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here he comes, he's had his teeth filed. They're ready to put him on. Look, it's like he's been doing it every day of his life. The emperor in his new clothes. And back to the Matan along the white cloth path, the Kasa path, symbolizes purity. Back into the Matan. Next. <laughs> to the manor born. Right, the third son. Boy, did they churn out the beauties, these two. They were the dream couple too. The Ali McGraw and Steve McQueen of their generation. 
Okay, I'm pon margi, I'm pon, I'm pon margi. They've, they've pretty much got it off pat now. It's like a whole <laughs> conveyor belt. So, one of the daughters finishing her tooth filing. <laughs> Very emotional. So the atmosphere has shifted from intense religiosity to family tenderness. Now it's just party atmosphere. Special, special guests are starting to arrive. This Rai was a bank manager, so having traveled all over Indonesia, he has many friends. Okay, so here's Gus Tut finally arrived, the Montgomery Cliff of the family. Nama jalan, Ampun. Jalan is shooting, Niki. Shooting. His father was Ida Bagus Mandor. He's the last of the four or five sons. Many wives never worked a day in his life. Who is Dayu Sibang SMSing is the big question on everyone's lips. Siram SMS and slug slug. Tunang ne? Tunang di Facebook nika? Yeah. Sat Dayana Dayu. This is the Nyo Nyo Malele look, very fashionable these days. It's coffee for the gamelan players, which is the great tradition. Most tourist venues don't do that. In Bali, the uh, old Tukangs, but particularly Tukang gamelan musicians, are greatly honored and treated like royalty when they visit. But not in the hotels anymore, where they showed the tradesmen, tradesmen's interest. <laughs> Western outskirts of Denpasar. It's very old. Even the coffee gets a special offering. I bet this troop is really good. Okay, he's in a better mood now, the priest. He was the one person who didn't want me photographing him. I think he was a bit shy. Samatoniki! Okay. Dying to hear them play. Well, we seem to have grown a gamelan out here while I was busy inside. It's a big show. We're not closing the road. Well, this is pretty gorgeous. Channeling the Dunga Queens of Jakarta. Oh, oh, that's a look. Whoa, <laughs> sizzling. Hangus, but no. 
10 o'clock and the courtyard is now fully filled up. The final stages of the tooth filing and soon the big wedding will come, which is the climax. Brilliant gam gamelan from Sadding playing. Dayu G'day with even more holy water, fun ending. <laughs> so these are the big offerings that... The um, Banta Napiniki. Banta Napiniki. Oh, not Makala Kala, this is for the, uh, the wedding ceremony. To all the ground spirits, the Kala. Kolo in Java being the ground spirits. Outside it's all raging. Somewhere there's a topping dancer performing. Somehow in all the excitement I missed the arrival of the Padanda. I better check it out. So it's not the Padanda, it's actually one of the uh, local village priests. She's getting these offerings prepared for the ground spirit offering session, the Makala Kala. Okay, here's the bride-to-be getting dressed with the groom. Oh, she's a strong girl. Beautiful outfit. Very classical. Uncle Police Chief has taken the phone for the posting on the Facebook any second. And it's all happening. The food lunch is about to happen for thousands. Well, that's about the decor. How come monkey lung so much all that? Suddenly there was a whole topping performance. Famous dancer. They choreographed a special thing for today. It's not the amazing. The arrival of Padanda Madhe Guru, the glam bram of Bali. <laughs> Just talking to Padanda Madhe Guru about his recent trip to North India with Milo. We're all a little bit casual now. This is the start of the wedding ceremony. Most of <laughs> little bit specific, this bit. Oh dear. This specific bagian ni ke? Itu so anak ram kelas tu di mana? This is now the climax of the wedding ceremony. The walking of the various agricultural goods. <laughs> Nah, kalau <laughs> 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 